Hi, my name is Stephanie and today I want to talk to you about why most Christian movies suck. And apparently that is not a very nice thing to say, but most of you know that's true. Now one of the main reasons why Christian movies tend to turn towards not so great is that they have this problem with really black and white thinking. So if there t happens to be an antagonist, which often ends up being an atheist, they are just evil. They're a bad person. It's like they can't be a human being. <laughs> they can't have anything likable about them. That is a no-no because Christian viewers must understand that the atheist is bad. So it's really frustrating because a lot of times they'll make, you know, the bad influence, the antagonist, the atheist, just this all bad character becomes like a cartoon villain and so you're not allowed to relate to that person. The problem here is they ensure that their audience is only Christian by doing this because who's gonna watch a movie where the person that has the same kind of worldview as them is just portrayed as this super caricaturized villain and evil person like that would make you think that like all christians just see you as this evil person who just wants to destroy i don't know christians or something <laughs> and it doesn't also help christians either because it kind of sends that message that we should see people who don't agree with us or who might not be good influences or who might be atheist or who might be of a different religion or whatever that we should see them as this bad, evil person who we can't talk to uh, unless if we're gonna like turn them or we're gonna have those gotcha moments where like you really do believe. It's just really childish and just gimmicky and makes, <sighs> just doesn't make for a good story. It just doesn't, it's not realistic in any way. And honestly, that would be the other major issue with Christian movies is realisticness, realism is not a priority half the time. <laughs> it's just not. Now very quickly a lot of times they have small budgets so of course you kind of have poor acting and maybe not great sets and stuff like that but like you know it's low budget it's whatever some of these aren't low budget but for the ones that are it's you just gotta deal with it they didn't have a lot of money it's okay because some of these people can't act worth their lives but that's okay they're trying they're trying and some of these people are really good actors and actresses and stuff like that. I'm just saying there tends to be, you know what I'm saying. But back on the whole realism issue, I think this is actually probably the absolute biggest issue <laughs> because Christians just have this problem with admitting that we're human. The pastor or the uh, protagonists and the good people are perfect. They never react wrong. They have like everything together and their problems are either like, oh my goodness, they're having some doubt. They're like, oh man, I'm so mad at you, God, why me? Like that's like the extent. Or it's like they're trying to be edgy and they bring in like, this person's a drug addict. But like, it's never, there's like, people aren't human. <laughs> it's, it's just weird because the good people, the Christian people are as if they have been perfected by God himself here on earth. They don't watch anything bad. They don't say anything bad. They don't do anything bad. And the only kind of like wrong things they do are for like weird church humor that doesn't make a lot of sense. And I think this is actually why uh, Medea, that series, really took off for a while was because there was a little bit more of a realism effect with Medea where she wasn't politically correct. She just isn't a uh, typical good character in general, if that makes sense bending a lot of the rules isn't just this perfect holy person and even though a lot of people have a lot of issues with Medea and all of that it just reveals kind of maybe why people were more interested in Medea than maybe some of these other ones because there's someone who does things that aren't just perfect 
I read my Bible and then I do this and I play sports, preferably football, and I coach the football team. And I come home and I go to church and I do these things and my biggest weakness is that I had a momentary doubt because of the atheist meanie. Like, these people aren't humans. They don't talk like humans, they don't act like humans, they don't have flaws, except for that, like, thing that the movie's about. And that's why it's so frustrating to watch. <laughs> because, like, you don't have to cuss. You don't have to do, like, really bad things to be human on screen. It's just, like, they're, they can't fathom someone who actually has flaws being allowed to represent Christians or pastors. And it just feels really weird. And then, of course, the storyline happens where... A bad thing is resolved, everything magically works out, someone says something stupid along the lines of like, ha ha, God works in mysterious ways, and everything just comes together perfectly, and like, the perfect Christians get a pat on the back. The end! We did the right thing in the face of adversity, and it just, it's just like tied with a little neat bow, and everyone is perfect, and it just, it, it's like that concept where people who are trying to bring people to Christ try to convince them that their life is going to be all perfect and rosy if they just say that they believe in God, which isn't true. We still live on this earth. We are still human beings. We still have real problems. We still have problems that are character flaws. We still, we're still human in a human world. And the only difference <laughs> is that we are empowered through Christ to make better decisions, to follow his will. And yes, he does things that can, you know, make things turn right, even though they technically shouldn't have. But it, it, life isn't just like this rosy little trip down the lane and now we're all fine. And telling people that when you're talking to them about salvation is dangerous and stupid. And <laughs> which is why people feel that need to be like overly perfect around certain people because they're like, we can't, we can't show people that Christians are human beings. Ugh. Anyway, so it's just like personified in an entire movie that I have to sit through. <laughs> now there are some good Christian movies out there. There are some that are pretty good. They're just a little cheesy, uh, but there are a good majority that suffer from these major flaws. And I just wanted to share about it because I was thinking about it the other day and I decided why not and sit down and complain about Christian movies and make a bunch of Christian people mad at me because apparently if you're a Christian and you make a video or a movie that is Christian, then you are not allowed to say anything about it because it's God's work. Or something. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and drop a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you have experienced this phenomenon or anything that I have um, gone over, or if you have additional things to add about this topic, let me know in the comments. And if you want to, you can subscribe. I upload to this channel basically when I have the time to. Usually, if I am going to upload a video for the week, it will be on Saturdays at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, so feel free to subscribe. And I'll talk to you in my next video whenever that is. Bye!